Brandon is a junior in the Equality Building. He is just an outstanding young man. He does a lot inside and outside of the school. My first internship is with PVD Young Makers. We run maker spaces in all 10 of the community libraries in Providence. We teach them equipment such as 3D printers, vinyl cutters, and a bunch of other technologies like that. But then we also mentor the students and make sure that we're just being there to support with whatever life throws at them. I've been able to have a relationship with Brandon since 2018 as a mentor and as a colleague now. Brandon has risen to a higher level than a lot of students because he's increased his skills to such an extent that he's becoming a social activist, a social innovator. I get to see him over on campus, then work with him in the community, help change the culture of how we operate here. Another program I'm with is a Leadership Journey. With that program, where I've had the opportunity to travel to Africa twice. I'm going again this year, I'm going to Ghana, and we also are hosting students for the first time this year. This is a place where you can truly be yourself. Whatever that means to you, students have often communicated that, and I think staff feel it too. Two days a week, they are out in the real world learning from mentors in the community, and they're doing real projects that give back to that internship site. With Emblaze app, you're able to document when you arrived to your internship and when you leave. And it's made it like really easy to communicate with my advisor. Students have access to the entire database of mentors and internships, and they can filter using keywords, and they can search by city. You know, it just makes it a lot smoother for them. There's a lot of connections already established by past MET students. Emblaze sort of puts it all in one system, and you're able to really pick what you want. I think that's really the power of a school like the Met because a lot of the students are really trying to get back into the community and sort of give back in real ways. And then also this school sort of acts like a beacon for a lot of people where students could sort of envision futures that aren't just the ones given to them. Brandon is a perfect example of a student who's here and he's determined to lead in the fight against social injustice. That's why we're here as well. We're fighting for those same things. That's why we're in education.